Hello guys, my name is Nora Saha and till now we have created a Firebase account and we also have a cloud Firestore to store our data. But to store the data from our project, the first thing we need to do is to install Firebase package locally in our project using npm. So go to your project, open the terminal and write npm. install firebase after you install close this and go to package.json and you will see a firebase plot virus version right now i have installed the latest version 8 so make sure you have installed the firebase package of version 8 Otherwise, the code which I write here may not work on your side. Now, in our next step, we take the configuration object from the Firebase and put it in our project so that we can manipulate our database using a Firebase package. So, I'm gonna go to the Firebase, then Project Overview, and click here to register a web app for our Firebase backend. And I'm gonna name it simple form register app. Then scroll down and click on continue to console. Then click on the app. Then click on the gear icon correspond to the currently created project which is a simple form in our case so i'm gonna click here then scroll down config because we need a configuration object copy all of this and go back to visual studio code i'm gonna close this up and create a new folder under src called firebase then under a firebase create a new file called config.js then here paste that code now the next thing we need to do is to allow the firebase package to use this object to set up the connection so the first thing we need to do is to import that Firebase package Firebase slash app now we also have to import the type of Firebase service that we want to use we want to use Firestore so write Firebase slash fire store. Then we need to initialize this Firebase app. So I'm gonna come to the bottom and initialize in it Firebase app Firebase, which is this dot initialize app then parenthesis and inside the parenthesis we pass this configuration object then we also need to initialize file store service to make the connection with it
now you can use the project file store to do the thing like data insertion data deletion and much more now the last thing we need to do is to export it so that we can use it on our component file so right export curly bracket and what we want to export project fire store save this thanks for watching this video i will see you on the next tutorial